Hello, welcome back. This is journal number 20. So you're going to put in your name, first and last preferably, and then click the radio button for whatever period you're in, and then hit next. Now I am going to um, copy and paste the perfect answer here and then click the submit button and bring it back up to make it easier for us to look at on the screen. So hopefully it won't be but too long before that pulls up. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so <clears throat> one major thing that plant cells have that animal cells do not is a cell wall. They have chloroplasts. So those two things are things that plant cells have that animal cells do not. So that could be two things right there. A third thing is that animal cells are round, and the reason they're round is they only have a cell membrane. They don't have cell walls. So that means that plant cells have straight sides. Now, some people say that plant cells are square. Mm, some of them are, but some of them are rectangles. There's hexagons. There's pentagons. I'm sure there's octagons. There's uh, There are cells um, that have all kinds of crazy shapes. Onion cells are usually these long rectangles, at least in the skin. So straight sides, though, because of the cell walls. Plant cells have one large central vacuole that stores water, while animal cells just have little vacuoles throughout. That large central vacuole, I know you've seen a plant that wasn't dead yet, but needed water. How did you know that it needed water? Exactly. It was like all wilted. And how did it get that way? The large central vacuole inside the cell, well, it had used up all the water, so it had collapsed. And all of those large central vacuoles had collapsed. And so it makes the whole plant go. I can remember being probably about y'all's age. And it was the hottest day of the year. It was like July 6th, 7th. It was hot. It was like 100 degrees outside. And dad had some kind of greens he was going in the garden. And he asked me to go water them. And they, they were dead. Okay. They were dead. They were dead. But I was like, okay, I'll humor the man and spray some water on them. And I'm spraying and I'm spraying and I'm spraying. And nothing's happening. And then finally, I look away for a minute. I look at my Aunt Jamie out messing with the cows. And I look at Dad doing whatever he was doing with the tractor. And my grandfather getting up hay or whatever. And he wouldn't have been doing that alone. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. And by the time I look back, those things were alive again. They were all like back full of water, standing up straight. So all of those central vacuoles that had squished down and had made them all wilt on the ground had made it stand up again. So that's what happens with that large central vacuole is it can lose all the water and make the plant wilt, but as long as the plant doesn't die, you can fill those vacuoles back up and the plant will stand up straight again. All right, you need to pick three of those things to write about for your journal. Have a lovely day. Bye.